Hey, and welcome to this quick Zoom on how to keep out weirdos. So I'm in the schedule and meeting part. I'm going to type in my topic, and uh, just like I normally do. So got my topic getting typed in. I'm going to skip over the scheduling part because you all know how to do that. The important part is for meeting password, okay? So it's going to say uh, right there at the check mark box, I have required meeting password. I always put mine to 38655 to make it easy on my kiddos who want to attend my class. However, when you do this, it is important that you do that because, well, if somebody just randomly finds your number, tries to join, well, they can't. I do enable the waiting room. That's I definitely enjoy that. Uh, some people like to mute the participants upon entry, um, and it's up to you. Enable join before host. I do not allow that. And then if I click save, I'm good to go. But check this out. For the join URL with a password, it has the meeting number at the beginning. But for the password, look at that crazy long thing. Basically, Zoom takes that 38655 and jumbles it up with some sort of algorithm. That way, it's just not a simple password anymore, which is awesome. So... I have that password in. I want to show you what it looks like if you don't have the password. So I'm going to go in here. I want to check no password required. And now if I save it, look what happens to the URL. It's just zoom.us and a number. So if I'm just some kind of weird person trying to jump into people's meetings, all I got to do is type in zoom.us and just type a bunch of junk. And then, well, I might get lucky. And there's actually people out there who can make a quick little program where it just does random things until it gets a hit and then they get to wait and jump in all right it's a simple program to write and of course there's plenty of weird people out there so always remember just click on a password zoom treats it uh nice and hopefully that'll keep weird people out of it at the beginning next part i want to show you how to get them out if they're in there or if a student's in there and doing something weird thanks so i'm gonna go over here I want to admit Carter. And now, let's see. Oh, there's Carter. Hey, all right. So let's say we are in class. And what I want to do, no, oh, here I am. Let's say we're in class. And you are going to talk to a student. But let's say that student was just talking way too much. Well, I can go over here. I can either go to his photo and click mute. Carter, you're muted. Can you tell? Okay. Or I can go over here. So I have the option to mute him over here. Now let's just say he was doing something and it was really distracting. Okay. Well, I'm going to go over here and stop his video. Muting the screen just turns them into a name. With Carter just a name, I can cut his video back on, but it, I have to ask, okay? Because we don't get to just toggle their videos on and off. Oh, there you are again. Hey, now let's just say Carter continues to drive us crazy so we can now just put him back in the waiting room whoa so he's back in the waiting room so i can readmit him now welcome back carter now here's the deal if i put him in the waiting room that allows me to let him back in but if i put remove he will not be able to rejoin at all okay I mean, surely we won't have to use that option, right? And the thing is, is just make sure you know who's coming in. Because, huh, Jason, do we have a Jason in this class? I don't know. I'll go ahead and admit him. Maybe he's one of the other students. So I don't know who this guy is, but I let him in because it's a nice name. What do you think, Carter? Not again. This guy always interrupts my Zoom meetings. So now, do I want to remove Jason? Of course. <laughs> okay, that's how you get your Zoom meetings back under control. You can mute them, you can cut off their video, put them in the waiting room, or just kick them up for good. Thanks for watching. Questions? Email me.